What's up, Geeks and Gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video, and today we are going to talk about how the SJWs continue to attack any woman or non-white dude that they feel is a threat to them in any way, shape, or form. We're looking at my Twitter account, and Mecca Random 42 is not really involved in this story uh, directly, but I wanted to go ahead and give her a shout out. Because she's awesome. And we want to get her to 50,000 subs. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below. Please go subscribe to Mecha Random. But we're actually going to be talking about another friend of mine. And that is Darth Barbie. Darth Barbie is pretty new to uh, you know our little community. And she's become a really good friend in a short amount of time. But anytime you're a friend of mine... You face crazy people like this right here. Now, this is a person that likes to accuse people of being racist and sexist and using the moral high ground to act all virtuous. Yet, look at the bottom message here. Now, it says, I can still harass Darth Barbie asshole on Instagram. Now, you're probably wondering what exactly is going on here. Well, let me explain to you what's going on. Now, Darth Barbie has become a friend of mine. Anytime... It seems like a woman becomes a friend of mine. These crazy lunatic SJWs, these virtuous people want to intimidate or attempt to intimidate that woman to not being friends with me because these people have built such a narrative around me that when they see that that narrative isn't true and when they see tangible evidence that goes against their lies and their slander, their job is to try and make that person feel bad for being my friend or trying to shame that person. It is crazy. These people are lunatics. Now, I am going to blur this person's name out because I think they want attention and I'm not going to give them attention. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use their stupidity against them to make more money and to get a bigger following for my friends. So that's why I gave a shout out to Mecha Random 42 and I also am going to give a shout out to Darth Barbie. And Darth Barbie did an amazing response to this and uh, I love it so much. But look at, look at the language here. Now, I have never had a conversation with this person to my knowledge publicly on Twitter or anything like that. I was talking to Darth Barbie uh, about this guy that had been bothering her and saying, you know, a lot of things about she was telling me this person had been messaging her. How can you be friends with Jeremy? How can you be friends? And, you know, I said, unfortunately, you're going to face a lot of this because a lot of these people, uh, they just they can't stand the fact that I have friends that are women uh, or they're women that are support geeks and gamers because they've built this stupid narrative around geeks and gamers that is a complete lie. So it's really weird that she faces this type of stuff. It's really weird that a lot of the women that are involved with Geeks and Gamers face this stuff. But this is SJW to a T. So this person had been bothering her on Instagram and on Twitter about associating with me. And I looked into this person when she made me aware of it. And I noticed that this person had been sending me a bunch of messages. And this isn't the only messages that are in my inbox. Because my inbox is open to everyone. I have a public inbox. So... You see some of these messages right here, uh, the things that are being that I'm being accused of, all that crap. And then I saw where it said, I can still harass Darth Barbie on Instagram. I guess this was after she blocked him on Twitter. And so uh, I then found this, uh, someone found this screenshot on this person's timeline where they publicly even threatened to harass her. Why? Because she's friends with me. This is SJWs. They want to talk about respecting women. They want to talk about how we're all intimidated by women, how we can't stand when women get any prominent role or anything like that. Yet they're the ones harassing women for having an opinion, for having a friendship. Now, one thing that Darth Barbie told me, because she is fairly new to our community, and she told me, she said, Jeremy, before I knew who you were, I had so many people come to me and tell me, don't talk to him. You don't need to associate with him. And it was really interesting because she did follow me at first. Uh, and then I guess when she followed me, there was a lot of people that like told her how horrible I am and how dangerous I am. So she unfollowed me. And then she followed me back when she saw that I was friends with, with some other people that she was starting to become friends with. And she told me after we became friends, she told me, she says, you know how many people came to me and told me to not associate with the fandom menace because the fandom menace is this. The fandom menace is that. They're intimidated by women. They're, they're toxic. And she says, not once have I experienced anything like that in the fandom menace from anybody. 
And, and I also have never been told by anyone in the fandom menace that I couldn't have a conversation with someone not in the fandom menace. And I was like, that's, that's absolutely great to hear because that's exactly what the fandom menace is all about, is being yourself, being an individual, having your own opinion. There's no way the fandom menace collectively tells you not to talk to this person or that person. Don't, you can't have conversations. Yet the people that aren't in the fandom menace, that are outside of it, that are always slandering it, they want to dictate to people they can't talk to the fandom menace. It's absolutely unbelievable how dumb these people are. But again, her experience continues to show why the fandom menace is so successful and why so many people are happy being part of the fandom menace because it is truly a place where individuals can be themselves. And I love it. Now, here's what I want to do. I want to listen to her response because this is this is gold right here. This girl is going to be a superstar. This girl is going to be a mega star. Her personality, she's such a sweet person. She has a lot of qualities like Jedi Bunny Kelly. You know who Kelly Jedi Bunny is. And, and Darth Barbie Chris, she is much like Kelly in that sense where she's really shy. But she has such a good personality. And I love this response. So let's listen to this right here. And this girl's going to be a star, I'm telling you. Okay. Dude on Twitter, what is your deal? I did nothing to you. Nobody else has done anything to you. You're just mad because I'm friends with Jeremy. <laughs> You're mad because I'm friends with someone? <laughs> really? Dude, all that porn? You shouldn't even be talking any smack. It's embarrassing. <laughs> That's so good. And the point she's making about, you know, the porn is this person's entire timeline is full of porn. All of it. That's all it is. And yet here you are harassing a woman because she has a friendship with someone that you don't like based on information that is completely fabricated. And again, this is SJW's to a T. And this is what the fandom menace faces constantly. It faces slander and lies where people make things up that aren't true. And then they want to sit there and harass people that are friends with people in the fandom menace. Uh, Garth Barbie up to this point has never said she's part of the fandom menace. She's never said she's not part of it. She's just friends with a lot of people that are in it. But again, like she said, I've never been told by someone in the fandom menace I couldn't have a conversation with someone not in the fandom menace. But I have had so many people come to me and tell me, oh, you can't talk to the fandom menace. Don't ever talk to those people because they're so toxic. I mean, what is wrong with these people? What is wrong with these people? But anyway, at the end of the day, I have Darth Barbie's back. I want you to follow her on Twitter. She's a great follow. She just broke 4,000 subs. Um, and I also want you to subscribe to her YouTube channel. She just broke a thousand subs. And again, she is going to be a superstar. And I'm so happy that I've become friends with her and gotten to know her. And also subscribe to Mecca Random 42. She is at, when, it, when she made this tweet, she was about a thousand subs away from 50K. So if we can get her up to 50K, that would be beautiful. And this is what we do. You know, if you want to sit there and if you want to try and lie and slander and, and make things up, if you want to go after my friends, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use your stupidity and I'm going to use it to make my following bigger. I'm going to make my friends' followings bigger. And we're going to just do that. We're going to do that to you because that's the only way that we can really make you have any relevance whatsoever is just to use your stupidity to make our followings bigger and make our voice carry more weight by reaching more people. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And yes, I'm going to blur this person's name out because I'm not going to give them the attention because it's clear that's what they want. By the way, by the way, this person has also said very disrespectful things about the U United States military on Veterans Day said it on Anna, that Star Wars girl's, uh, one of her posts where she was uh, talking about some of her family members that have been in the service. He did this to Darth Barbie, where she was celebrating Veterans Day, where this person said some horrific things about uh, the United States soldiers and everything like that that I'm not going to repeat. But this is the type of people we're dealing with here. You stand on your virtuous box and you cast stones to others based on lies and manipulation 
Yet here you are disrespecting soldiers on Veterans Day and admitting to harassing women on social media. Absolutely unbelievable. Anyway, thank you guys very much for checking out this video. Uh, again, one last time, subscribe to MechaRandom42. Follow MechaRandom42 on Twitter. Follow Darth Barbie on Twitter. And subscribe to Darth Barbie on YouTube. Thank you to everybody that continues to stand by the fandom menace and not throw lies and manipulation out there because at the end of the day, we're all individuals. We all have each other's backs. We sometimes disagree, and that's the best part of it. But I'm happy to stand with all of you, and I'm happy to have friends like Mecha Random and like Darth Barbie. So thank you guys. Have a great day, and we will talk to you later. Hey everyone, it's Jeremy from GeeksAndGamers.com, and if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have t-shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies, tank tops, and in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.